Yeah, my name is uh, John Stokey. I'm a recovering alcoholic and addict, um, going on four years sober uh, from opiate addiction. Um, been uh, running uh, transitional living houses called Recovery House for almost three and a half years. I uh, work at a treatment center uh, called Assisted Recovery Centers of America. I'm a patient care coordinator and a peer support up there. Um, I also um, am the president and executive director of Archway Institute, which is a uh, nonprofit organization that um, helps fund um, people in recovery. And we try to help fill those gaps um, that the system has as far as people that you know are needing or wanting treatment, but yet are turned away due to financial barriers, um, family support issues, um, or just don't have the necessary means or resources to to find appropriate. Um, true. You know, basically, one out of ten people seeking treatment are turned away due to financial barriers. Um, to me, that's an unacceptable, you know, statistic. You know, especially knowing what addiction does and, 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 and the backlash that it has in the society and the community, uh, we're paying for this one way or another, you know. Hi, my name's Jesse. I'm recovering here on that. They help me and motivate me to do better and motivate me to stay in recovery because they're trying to do the same thing. You know, it's not just the houses, it's them too. You know, like I, I need those people here with me all the time. And you know, like I said, it means everything to my recovery. Um, my name's Luke, I'm 33 years old. I'm a recovering heroin addict. Um, and before I moved into recovery house, I had basically exhausted all my resources, all my money went towards my addiction. Um, and uh, just really helped me put my life back together. They helped me find work. Um, they made sure that I was following up with my recovery and, and uh, seeking out outpatient treatment, meetings in the house, um, just all kinds of resources here. Help people find food stamps, clothing, shelter, all kinds of other things. So um, it, it's been pretty important to my recovery. Uh, and, and without Recovery House, I probably wouldn't be here right now, to be honest. Um, so I'm pretty thankful for it. What, is, what does Recovery House mean for me? And recovery House for me is a safe, sober environment that I, I get support, resources, and care about me um, and, and there's this competitive spirit to, to do better and, and get better and um, and that's what we're all here to do is to provide that that positive reinforcement to each other <clears throat> because you know when you're when you're down and out and, and, and you're, you have all these gaps and barriers to, to getting well um, or to being a productive person in society um, you know, you don't have all the tools, you don't have all the resources. But what I don't have, someone else in the house does. And what he doesn't have, I do have. And, you know, it, it's as a collective, we team up to, to be a, a, a successful person in recovery. And, you know, in that process, we are breaking stigmas around addiction uh, within ourselves. Uh, because, you know, the, the mentality out there on addiction is that just, you know, the, the relapse rates are so high that people just won't recover from this. And, and that's just not a true statement. And, you know, this house stands on that. You know, we look at it as a disease and we treat it like a disease. And uh, we appreciate the people that are in here and we treat them like family, not as outcasts of society. And, um, you know, as a, as a group together, you know, we strive for that goal.